Alrighty, Scorpios, so this is going to be your reading for December 31st to January 7th. I hope you guys had an awesome last year, and I'm super excited to give you guys this reading. If you're interested in getting a personal reading done by me, or you're interested in checking out this extended version of this reading after we're done here, all that information is going to be in the description box as well as in the beginning of this video. And we're going to see what intuitive messages come through with my Gypsy Oracle deck if anybody wants to know what I'm using. And I'm also using the Golden Universal Tarot for the second half of this reading. So let's get straight into it. So you're reaching out to somebody this week who you've been super excited to speak to. Um, I also feel like if you're not doing the reaching out, somebody is. But there's definitely going to be back and forth communication between you and somebody who you definitely care about. Um, yeah, you guys may be reuniting. If you haven't spoken in a while, this person's going to finally reach out to you and let you know how they feel about you, okay? You may have a child with this person, or this person may have a child, or this may be an opportunity for you guys to start something new and really grow the relationship, but it's going to require a lot of care, a lot of time, a lot of patience with anything, right? You may be also in a space of just wanting to enjoy life, especially if you've been having issues with just issues <laughs> um but yeah some somebody is coming back around guys um with this person coming back around i feel like you do need to be aware of the fact that they may be super super like nice and different than how you kind of remember them you know how they are so you'll be able to recognize their falseness but if this is a newer person make sure that you're not falling victim to false energy okay somebody like putting up a smoke screen and not really displaying how they really feel i'm also seeing something here about you guys like when you're alone you soak about like things that went wrong Make sure that you're not beating yourself up for anything that you can't control. Also, watch out this week, and I've been having to tell every sign this. It's it's crazy. Watch out this week for anybody trying to uh, steal your ideas. People like trying to look around your house and stuff. Or if you have like a safe in your house and you know people know the combination. Or people in your house, like, okay, people that you know know that you have like a safe in your house. You need to like do something about that because somebody might try try and test you, okay? Try to get in your house and try to do so. I'm not trying to scare anybody, guys. It's like I have to give you guys these warnings, but... You need to make sure that you are not just being trusting of everyone. Ooh. Scorpios, um, also make sure you guys are going to the doctor for a checkup this week. Make sure you're going to see if everything's good, especially if you haven't had any sort of like um, checkups to see just what's going on with you guys. It, you guys would benefit best from taking, um, taking yourself to the doctor this week, especially if something's up and you can't put your finger on it, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say. But I'll definitely make sure you guys do that. We're going to go ahead and get into the regular tarot and see what intuitive messages come through. Ooh, come on, 
one, guys. I don't like this energy going into the new year. All right, so we have the Five of Swords. So I feel like there's some mental games being played here. There's some associations that you have with people that you're going to have to walk away from. But what's troubling me, or not troubling me, what I'm trying to figure out here is which side are you on in this scenario? Are you the one doing the verbal bashing or getting back at people for some things or playing some mental games? Or are you one of these people who are walking away from the games? Let's see. I wonder. Okay. This could be in a family situation here where there's some verbal disputes going on. Or you guys could be walking away from a very dishonest situation, like I said before, and focusing on your happiness, focusing on your home and your family and your kids. Okay, I feel like you guys are making that decision. Like this is really about not just you, but people around you, the decisions that you're making. For some of you guys, there may have been some underhanded things going on in the lawsuit. And that caused some sort of issues with the family when the judgment was made. But there's some... There's some judgment being made. When it comes to this conflict with these issues, okay? You also may have been fighting with yourself internally about this decision, but you had to you had to complete that. You had to be done. You were at your wit's end mentally verbally like you just <laughs> done and then now you're back at the start able to manifest after being completely at your lowest point you have the chance to now get to your highest with the magician the magician is all about having everything you need to create new circumstances for you okay of cups and then just like that you go from this really nasty energy guys really nasty energy at the beginning of this reading to this energy okay so there's definitely some sort of connection here that's coming into fruition and maybe with an aries taurus virgo doesn't matter the sign because all elements are in the magician. All elements are in the magician. So I feel like there's some shifts coming that require you to heal and actually be hopeful. Because your dreams are going to come true. Your dreams, your manifestations that you guys have been working on are going to come true. But the universe is not making it come true right now because you need to change some things. You need to see things from a different perspective. You're not having the enlightenment. And you may have been avoiding it. So this week is all about you guys being strong. And understanding that things need to end. Internally. Okay. You need to fight for your dreams. And not allowing things to be uneven. When it comes to. Beyond, just beyond everything I'm saying, like whatever is going on specifically in your situation, as far as you guys defending your honor and making sure that you are getting the equal give and take within your connections is going to be important, guys, so that you don't have all of the burden on you, especially if you live with your spouse and they're just putting all of it on your back, okay? But overall, I'm going to go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher really quick going on with my scorpio's cross watcher partner person in question for december 31st to january 7th please Ooh, 
five oh okay first card out we have the five of wands that just flew out at me okay so this person is having internal conflict they may feel as if there's actual like issues coming towards them okay but um I'm going to lay these cards out and I'm going to tell the story based off of what I'm seeing because it's telling its story. It's telling its story. All right, that's all the cards I'm going to pull. All right, so this person is having internal conflict. They did at one point feel like there was a lot of issues, but they're no longer stuck on this. Like they were mentally feeling stuck but they're coming out of that. They feel like there's just was not enough being offered. Um, they want to just be friends. They feel like it would just be best for you guys to be friends because there's a lot of secrets you may have kept from them or they feel like you are unsure when it comes to this connection. They really want an opportunity that's going to provide something stable though. They are not looking for something that's gonna involve cheating or any sneaky energy uh, coming off from the side. And they're at a crossroads about which way they wanna go with you. I really feel like they're trying to use their intuition as well when it comes to their next move. They really feel like you're keeping some things from them and they're keeping some things from you as well. But it's not because they're trying to be malicious, but because they're trying to have that as leverage just in case something goes wrong okay but um this person is definitely feeling a sense that they may be dealing with some addiction problems or feeling kind of tied to a situation that may not be good for them and they're having this issue with deciding what they want to do moving forward but they really want equal give and take all right, and they want clarity from you before you guys can even start anything. I feel like there needs to be healing. All right, there needs to be healing and hope. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that I was able to give you guys a good reading for your week. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you want to see the extended version of this reading, that information will be listed below for you guys to receive and to book me. And I'll see you Scorpios later. Have an awesome week.